right, so let's go through how you guys found the slope of 2x plus 3y is 6. Oh, wait. Hang on. Everybody think to themselves, what form is this? Standard. Think, Mac, what does think to yourself mean? Yeah, see, that's perfect. That's perfect thinking to herself. <laughs> yeah, standard form. Awesome. Did everybody have that in your head? You had standard form? Really? I'll be honest with you, I didn't. Okay, cool. We'll work on it. This is a thing that's okay. It's totally okay to be wrong. Really. Let's get better. Being wrong is part of getting better. And you never get better if you just don't try. So, how did you solve this for its slope? How did you find the slope here? What would you do? Get y by itself. Okay, you want to get y by itself. So, let's subtract the 2x from both sides. Okay. So, you subtract 2x from both sides. The arrows, cool. You goes down with. The arrows just me demonstrating the step that I'm taking. So, if you're like writing or something, you can look up and see it. So, I got 3y is 6 minus 2x. Then what? Divided by 3. Thank you, Sammy. Which you would phrase as? Multiply by 1 third. Yeah. Perfect. So you got y is, and Sean, what do you have to remember to do? Yeah, you got to add it to both sides. Or right. Yeah. Right? Kind of. You got to do it to the whole thing, right? Yeah. You guys with me on that? So multiply by a third. What's 6 multiplied by a third? 2. 2. two? And? Minus 2 thirds. The other bit's going to be a minus 2 thirds x. And then where's your slope? Minus the x. Yeah, it's the part on the x, right? It's not just the thing that comes first. It's the part on the x. Is it, oh, is it the whole 2 thirds or the minus 2 thirds? Minus, minus 2 thirds. Good. It's the whole thing minus 2 thirds. And so because we're becoming better as human beings, someone asked me, find the slope of? So I should probably answer them like I'm a person, with like a sentence. So what is a sentence that you could answer this question with? The, uh, the slope of the equation. Oh gosh, that's way too complicated. Well, I don't know. The slope, okay. the slope is negative two thirds. <laughs> yeah. So later. Right? As we go further in the semester, when I ask you what's the best way to do this, or how much money should Jim get, or something like that, I, ex I expect in that context, when I, there's a clear question asked, I want you to write down an answer with a sentence. You will get a point for the sentence, even if the rest of it is all wrong. <laughs> right? So if you get to the end and you say, Jim should have negative 24 million dollars and the answer is Jim should get 12 bucks I'm gonna be like well at least you had the Jim's Jim was supposed to get part right so you'll get a point for that cool yeah Jim owes 24 million dollars yeah probably the most terrifying phrase I heard in graduate school was a friend who was helping me do my taxes say is it possible that you owe the government four thousand dollars no, it better not be, because <laughs> I don't have four thousand dollars. <laughs> like my annual income was like twelve. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, how do we graph this thing? Well, so you have the uh, so you, you can start out. You have the y-intercept, which is oh. the y wait, where'd the y-intercept go? Uh, the y-intercept is going to be the two. Okay, so I knew the two. So that's. Two dot. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you are going to go down two and over three. Okay, so I go down two to here, uh -huh. and then over three. One, two, three dot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, it's early in the semester. My drawing skills are still a little rough. <laughs> it's like the two dots. It's like not even close. <laughs> All right, there's my line. Line. How else could I graph that line? There's another cool trick. 
So graphing lines in standard form can be pretty chill. If you start with your, so I got my 2x plus 3y equals 6, right? Mm -hmm. So if I think to myself, x is 0, right? If x is 0, then 3y is 6. So y is 2. So when x is 0, y is 2. In other words, when you go over 0, you should go up 2. That's this guy. If y is 0, then what do you have? 2x equals 6. 2x is 6, so x is 3. three. three. So when you go up 0, you should go over 3. Does that work every time? Yep. As long as you recognize the vertical and horizontal ones, this will work every time a standard form. It's oftentimes the easy way. Because right, this took a little doing. Yeah. But I knew how to graph this. That was pretty chill. It's nice to have a couple tools, right? We're going to get lots and lots of lines in this class, so sometimes one will feel a little better than the other, and you'll get used to doing both ways. Cool? Questions, things?